Hello, welcome back again to NX Tutorial. In this session, I would like to give you an explanation about to apply force in NX Motion. Now, right here in the modeling environment, I have one body, two, three, and four. Okay, so this body and this base I will use in the motion simulation. Okay, now. I click new simulation in here okay and then I create link as usual you must create link link 1 link 2 link 3 and also link 4 Okay, link four. I will give a name as a base. Okay, link one, or two, and three. I will leave it. Three in the base. Okay. Now I want to create a constraint. So when I give a force into this flag, this object will uh, smoothly on this uh, surface so it's like uh, going moving at the plane at this uh, surface so the surface acting like a floor and this the object is like an object on the floor and you give a force to the to the flag okay now I will start by using joint we have a planner so in here I will click the first link click the base link I specify the origin as you can see the origin at the top but I will make the origin at the bottom so I will hide that click in here the origin in here this is the surface okay and I specify the factor the factor is perpendicular and also the base as I already selected before and then I click OK I have also will use the same joint to all this specify origin right in this here the link is here the origin Specify the factor oh, supposed to be in this direction. So the original is in here, but I think it's wrong. Should be in the surface. And the base here. Okay. The third also same. Select the link. Specify the origin bottom surface specify the factor using perpendicular so this is the base link okay now all have a planner constraint here now I want to show you in here and next we have a factor force and also a scalar force now I'm gonna apply a factor force. In here we have two, the components uh, and the magnitude and direction. The difference is in components we just only enter the components in x, y, and z value. Meanwhile in magnitude and direction, you must specify the orientation or the factor. For example, if I insert the components, I select this one and I specify the origin. I gonna click this point and I will enter one pound one pound for the force and the force is in Y direction so it's a component of the force <coughs> I click OK now in here when I click solution and click OK 
and I click solve I'm gonna join axis in the model okay no grounded so it means I have to ground this base fix the land okay click solve okay go to animation now you can see in here okay you can see as the object moves as the object moves the force still in the y a direction no matter what this object uh, orientation you can see okay now you can see right from here if I go back again okay in here now that's the using a components now if I using magnitude and a direction for example I choose this I specify the origin again using same position but I using magnitude and direction so it will request the orientation orientation will be in plus y a direction value still same one pound the direction is the same but the difference is this is just a component from the from the load on the force in here is a factor force that always that asking the uh, direction so if I click solve and go animation you can see in here it's spinning without any control it keeps spinning now why it's it's spinning because if you see from the top and I got animation you can see if the orientation of the object moves it also change a direction so the direction will always the same with the, the orientation of the object so it means that uh, it continuously create a moment into this object so that's why it's it's spin you can see something like this okay now in here we have also third force is called a scalar force now scalar force for example I give this link I specify the origin I click at the same place in, this, in the middle now this scalar force always asking specify origin so it always asking a point or a reference for example in here I have a reference I click this point and the value is one pound okay I click OK. Now it means the force apply in here and here is an action and re reaction. So action reaction. For example, if I click solve on the animation in here, you can see it's apply action and reaction one pound force. So if you are, if you already understand that you can make make a uh, a choice which force you would like to apply in your uh, simulation object so in here this is a components it always keep the direction no matter what the orientation in here is a magnitude components and magnitude force it always uh, change its factor but always same with the object meanwhile in here is a scalar force that always asking the base so there's an action reaction in here pushing in here pushing also you can see the result is like this okay so I hope this can be useful for you now maybe I want to make some little bit uh, 3d contact between this link so if they a collision if they collision they will make something more more realistic 
so if I click solve check for the animation let's see Oh, so no collision at all okay maybe we can change a little bit a direction uh, this is just for fun actually now it's going this direction let's solve okay I hope something will collide. Oh, that's collide. That's collide. You see, this is just for fun. Okay, maybe I will change a little bit this. Force. Oh, okay. Okay, then. That's it for the force. Uh, thank you very much for your kindly to watch my video. And see you next time.